Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with Just Another Fan TV. Back at you, another video. Like the content the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content the channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Listen, uh, you know I want to do like a little Ravens injury report, but uh, I'm wondering if the injury report might be pushed back a day just because of the fact that the Ravens play on Monday, so the schedule might be a little bit different. Because the normal beat writers, you know, Jeff Zarebeck and uh, Kyle P. Barber, Jonah Schaefer, they really didn't report on who do they see out there in practice and things like that. And at the time I'm dropping this video right now, uh, or recording this video, I should say, uh, I haven't seen an official injury report, all right? But it's a couple things that we can talk about regarding the Ravens and just a whole practice report in general. A um, couple of things. Obviously, we know what Sean Bateman's going to miss a couple of weeks, okay? And uh, that, that impacts the Ravens on, you know, numerous amounts of fronts. Uh, we saw what happened at the end of, sorry, not the end of, but the second half of the Buccaneers game. Offense was different. They were effective. But can they keep that up, right? Can the Cooper Robinson receivers continue to improve and get time and, and rhythm with Lamar Jackson? Uh, will Greg Roman call the same kind of plays that was called last time to keep this offense going and in rhythm? Those things remain to be seen. But can't understate that Rashad Bateman is going to be a miss in some capacity. He is, you know, when he's been throwing the ball, he's been a good player. Obviously, he's had problems with drops this year. Um, but to me, that's more of a concentration thing, as I've said multiple times. Uh, you know, now we're looking for guys like Devin Duvernay to step up and really uh, expand his role. Now, once again, that's not all on Devin Duvernay. Some of the stuff has to be drawn up for him to for him to reach that full capacity that he can do. Uh, so we'll see if that happens. All right. Now, some good news for the Ravens. Tyus Bowser and David Ojabo have officially been activated and are back on the 53-man roster. Um, as of today, Tyus Bowser had his first full practice as a Raven. So no more limited for him. He was a full participant. So that's big news. And this Ravens password just continues to get better, better, and better. Now, as far as Tyus Bowser, he is probably the Ravens' most versatile linebacker they have. Well, I mean, I guess Roquan Smith is here now too, but you know. But as far as outside linebackers, I should say, this is the most versatile linebacker that they have. I mean, he could drop into coverage. He could blitz. Obviously, he could rush. Um, he could cover, you know, some running backs if they need to. So when I see when I see sorry when I see uh, Tyus Bowser being back, that makes me excited for Adafi Owe because now Adafi Owe has to, has had to do some of that responsibility dropping into coverage. And when he drops into coverage, it's not the best. He doesn't look really look, look interested. He doesn't really look like he wants to do that. You know what I mean? And that's understandable. I mean, his whole football life, which hasn't been very long, because obviously he started late in high school, he's been a guy who's been rushing the passer, right? So asking him to drop in coverage is something a little different for him. The Ravens don't ask him to do it often. It's only a couple of times a game, but I would refer those couple of times a game be just focused on the pass rush, right? So I feel confident and I feel good for a guy like um, Owe that this could help him out even more, give him more rushing, pass rushing opportunities, okay? And now as far as those guys playing, um, it looks like Ty Bowser has an opportunity to play this Monday. We don't know how much and what capacity, but it looks like Ojabo probably won't play. You know, they're probably still going to bring him along slowly. Just because his Achilles injury was uh, more recent, obviously, you know, it only happened back in March and we're only, what, uh, you know, six months, uh, sorry, no, a little longer than eight, eight months now um, from that. But um, so, you know, so you want to still bring him along slowly, don't want to re uh, retear anything or things like that. So I expect David Ojabo to play this year, obviously, but probably not for another couple of weeks. I mean, the Ravens have a long, long break off. Well, they played that game on Thursday, didn't play again until this upcoming Monday, and then they have the bye week, and then they come back. You know, so the Ravens have a long break. There's no reason to play Ojabo in this game on Monday. Just let them rest, get even healthier, and then we can see them out there probably for the next game right after that, all right? Um, now, also, we got to talk about the new guy, man, Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith had his first practice as Baltimore Raven. He's wearing a number 18. Some Ravens fans don't like it. Um, I think it is a little strange seeing a linebacker in number 18. I thought it was strange seeing Patrick Queen in number 6. But it's one of those things that as you get to watching him play, he's going to make plays. We're going to get used to it. We're going to forget about it. Um, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, I think that uh, his old number, 58, Michael Pierce has. And Michael Pierce is obviously on IR. He, he not, he's not going to change his number. He can't change his number anyways midseason. Um, and James Poche has three, which is what I believe he wore at Georgia. Uh, so, you know, can't have wear that either. And then, um, you know, he said, you know, new, he said that uh, he's excited to be here, new number, new beginnings, and that he was actually drafted in the year 2018, which is something that we already discussed in the World Conference Trade video. So, um, you know, it all lines up that way, right? You know, but uh, he's out there practicing. He looks good. He said he's happy to be a Raven. He said he was shocked by the trade. Um, didn't think it would be Baltimore, but he's happy that he's here. 
he heard good things from guys like Brent Urban, who he played with, Mike Davis, who he's played with. Um, he's heard good things. Even Justin Houston. Justin Houston is uh, a Georgia Bulldog. They got that connection. So I guess, you know, he heard it from him as well. Um, and as far as his contract goes, he said that he's not worried about the contract at this current time. He's one he wants to play, play for a contender, and that's what he's focused on. So that's cool. It is what it is. You know, he is one of these guys, just like Lamar Jackson, who is representing himself. Uh, no agent has a team of has a team of advisors that will help him out, and that's going to be that. So we'll see what the Ravens do uh, with Roquan Smith. But as far as football goes, it's great that he's here. He's going to be a tremendous help for a guy like Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen already said that he's excited to play alongside Roquan Smith. That people saying that. World Cup members here to take his position aren't aren't correct. We can play next to each other, and I think he's right with that with that statement. So, um, the Ravens practice report is is really like today. You know, be quite honest with you. But the things that you could take away: World Cup is out there. Ty's Bowser and David Ojabo are on a fifty three man roster. Ty, uh, sorry, David Ojabo has his first full practice as Baltimore Raven, which means that he's wrapping up and will play shortly. I don't expect him to play this Monday, but like I said, the Ravens have a long, long break, and we could see Ty, uh, sorry, David Ojabo very, very soon. I expect to see Ty's Bowser uh, in a limited capacity Monday night versus the Saints, but we shall see. Uh, but that's just my predictions, you know what I mean? Uh, and uh, that's that's it for this Ravens, uh, I guess, practice report, not really injury report. If we get a more full-on, extensive practice report tomorrow, I'll definitely do the uh, definitely do the video, give you guys the full injury update of what's going on, all right? So I'm signing out now. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.